From smuggling supremos to daring getaway drivers, female crooks have ruled London for hundreds of years. So why does the British public not know more about them? Caitlin Davies' new book Queens of the Underworld looks to shed light on the leading gangland figures considered neither real women nor real criminals. Yet, as these dramatic extracts reveal, they could all give the men a run for their money. Sometimes literally. Queens of the Underworld by Caitlin Davies is published by the History Press, £20, hardback. Smash. At 3 a.m. on 25 August 1926, a car carrying four men stopped a policeman in Merton, Surrey, and asked directions to a chemist shop. Shortly afterwards, local residents heard three bangs, followed by a crash and the sound of splintering glass. The gang drove off with stolen cameras, the police took chase, but the raiders escaped. Most dramatic of all, the driver was a woman. A girl motor bandit with an eaten crop is setting Scotland Yard a big problem, reported the local paper. It wasn't her first strike. The day before, a good-looking, girl had made a daring daylight raid on a house a few miles away. More raids followed. The most daring took place one day at 11 a.m. in London's Bond Street, when Lillian Rose Goldstein drove towards Cartier Jewelers, suddenly blared her horn in. Swung the car onto the pavement. Lillian Rose Kendall Goldstein, image, Brian McDonald. The door attendant jumped back, and Lillian slammed the car's nose against the door. Her male accomplice Ruby Spark, a thief known as Rubberface, was following behind. He swung his vehicle onto the pavement, and appeared through a hole in the car's roof. He smashed the shop window, grabbed 18,000 pounds of jewelry and watches. Equivalent to just over 1 million pounds today, and sped off. Lillian, having caused the distraction, had edged her way through the crowd and was making her way home. The pair's raids worked because passers-by would be so dumbfounded to see a woman, they would only jerk to life once the gang had sped away. Flying glass was an occupational hazard, and Ruby began carrying bulldog clips to hold the gashes shut until Lillian could stitch them up. She sterilized them in boiling water then wrapped them in a handkerchief. She also suggested Ruby disguise himself by putting pieces of rubber in his cheeks, hence his nickname. Smugglers pirate firefight before Swiss watches raid. In 1949, a gang of smugglers were sailing along the southeastern coast of France in an ex-Royal Navy launch. At the helm was Noreen Harbord, an Englishwoman in her mid-thirties, wearing slacks and a jersey, with a .45 Colt revolver strapped to her waist. As the boat neared the village of Bandel, a pirate ship came into view. Noreen's crew got their rifles ready. If there was going to be any monkey business, she later explained, I decided we would fight it out. There was a burst of machine gun fire and a few moments later, the hull was hit. Noreen hoisted the red ensign flag to show the vessel was British, but the pirates pulled alongside, and one leapt onto the deck. Don't you know we are a British ship? Noreen yelled in Italian. What do you mean by firing at us? The pirate laughed. Yes, a British ship, a British smuggling ship. And you are the queen of the smugglers. Moment Russian missile smashes into Ukrainian government building exploding in fireball. Huge Russian convoy outside Kyiv is 40 miles long, terrifying satellite images show. Her reputation had preceded her, even with these pirates, hundreds of miles from home. A year later, she arrived in her Chrysler at New Haven on the Sussex coast, and customs officers were in for a shock. She didn't look like a criminal. She was a former debutante, one who might slip a bottle of scent into her glove department, but certainly not thousands of Swiss watches. Yet they soon found 7,742 of them hidden in secret compartments inside her car. Despite being caught, she insisted she knew nothing about it and was absolutely horrified, saying, I am going to marry the governor of Tangier next week, then you will not be able to search my belongings as I will have a diplomatic passport. She mixed with the best people, she explained, and when I go racing at Ascot I am photographed. Most read. Captured Russian soldiers cry as they tell relatives I was sent to my death. Ukrainian farmers capture 12 million pounds Russian missile system and set fire to it in field. Russia-Ukraine war live. Full-scale genocide as Putin steps up medieval attacks. She would never be mixed up with smuggling.
The Hall of Swiss watches was found at around 5 p.m., and an hour and a half later Noreen and the customs officers retired to a public house where they drank. For some time, Noreen enjoyed several gins and then drove them all 50 miles to Croydon, where the formal interview began at 11 p.m. and lasted until 3 a.m. It did not go well. I spat like an alley cat. I felt as if I had a pack of hounds after me, she said. She'd also threatened one officer, saying, if you twist anything I said when drunk, I'll get one of my boys to give you the biggest hiding yet. Noreen had dropped her mask, she wasn't an innocent lady traveler, but the leader of an international smuggling gang. In 1950, she was charged with attempting to smuggle the watches, valued at £30,000. She was also charged with attempting to import nearly 11,000 watches. Noreen's lawyer pleaded his client was an innocent woman and had been used unwittingly by men, namely a kingpin, named, Freddy. It worked. The queen of the smugglers was sentenced to just 12 months in prison. According to the press, Noreen was unfazed. I am just one of those people who do the most outrageous things, she said, before asking, which is the best? Women's prison, Aylesbury or Holloway? Zoe Progel was a professional crook for 15 years, image, Daily Mirror. How a torn glove spelled the end for notorious burglar. Zoe Progel was a professional crook for 15 years, once stealing £250,000 worth of furs in a night. After breaking into a flat in London's Street John's Wood and stealing a fur stole, Tiffany jewellery and a fat wad of notes, she was arrested and bailed. But, Blonde Mickey, as she was known by the press, saw it as a license to carry on with her grafting. It would turn out to be her downfall, after she set her sights in a Brighton mansion one night in 1960. She forced open the door. Diamonds were a girl's best friend, she reasoned, and she wanted some new ones. In the master bedroom, she found some choice items of Tom, tomfoolery or jewelry, carelessly dropped on a dressing table rings, bracelets and brooches. Worth thousands. Zoe could immediately tell if an item was genuine and she'd recently stolen a diamond ring from a Mayfair apartment worth around £650, the average annual wage for a woman at the time. Zoe Progel and her husband Roy Bowman in 1964, image, mirror pics. Don't miss. Inside Britain's Beverly Hills estate full of Russian oligarchs causing local tensions. Why is Putin always late? Sinister reason he's left Queen, Pope and rivals waiting. Captured Russian soldiers cry as they tell relatives I was sent to my death. Divorced couple stabbed to death 15 miles apart in homes pictured for first time. She gathered up the jewelry on the dressing table and put it in her handbag. She might keep a piece as a souvenir to attach to her own gold charm bracelet. Which now had pieces lifted from England's stateliest homes similar articles to this. Disabled woman angry at narrow-minded ignorant person who left note on her car. 15. Comments. Peaky Blinders star Tom Hardy says he had everything but f asterisk 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 d it up with drugs. 13. Comments. Real life Peaky Blinders, the Shelbys did exist and weapons were even more gruesome. Trigger points burning questions as most explosive episode yet airs on ITV. 2 comments. Cleaning guru shares how often to wash bath mats, and you might not be doing it enough. Former Tottenham striker avoids jail and fined £180 for punching Tesco worker. 1. Comments. Boot staff help rescue petrified woman from violent partner after she uses code word. 9. Comments. Couple use DIY hack to create corner seat for just £100 using wood destined for the tip. 3. Comments. Explorers see dead prisoners' faces in chilling haunted prison that saw several murders. 3. Comments. Sons tribute to one in a million mum of three murdered in Britain's poshest village. Club had security measures in place when three clubbers spiked by injection. 6. Comments. Mum warned about karma after deciding to keep over £1,000 she found in charity shop. 2. Comments. Disabled woman angry at narrow-minded ignorant person who left note on her car. 15. Comments. Peaky Blinders star Tom Hardy says he had everything but f asterisk 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 d it up with drugs. 13. 
Comments. Real life Peaky Blinders, the Shelbys did exist and weapons were even more gruesome. Trigger points burning questions as most explosive episode yet airs on ITV. 2. Comments. Cleaning Guru shares how often to wash bath mats, and you might not be doing it enough. Former Tottenham striker avoids jail and fined 180 pounds for punching Tesco worker. 1. Comments. Boot staff help rescue petrified woman from violent partner after she uses code word. 9. Comments. Couple use DIY hack to create corner seat for just 100 pounds using wood destined for the tip. 3. Comments. Explorers see dead prisoners faces in chilling haunted prison that saw several murders. 3. Comments. Sons tribute to one in a million mum of three murdered in Britain's poshest village. Club had security measures in place when three clubbers spiked by injection. 6. Comments. Mum warned about karma after deciding to keep over 1,000 pounds she found in charity shop. 2. Comments. Disabled woman angry at narrow-minded ignorant person who left note on her car. 15. Comments. Peaky Blinders star Tom Hardy says he had everything but f asterisk 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 d it up with drugs. 13. Comments. Real life Peaky Blinders, the Shelbys did exist and weapons were even more gruesome. Trigger points burning questions as most explosive episode yet airs on ITV. 2. Comments. Cleaning Guru shares how often to wash bath mats, and you might not be doing it enough. Former Tottenham striker avoids jail and fined 180 pounds for punching Tesco worker. 1. Comments. Boot staff help rescue petrified woman from violent partner after she uses code word. 9. Comments. Couple use DIY hack to create corner seat for just 100 pounds using wood destined for the tip. 3. Comments. Explorers see dead prisoners faces in chilling haunted prison that saw several murders. 3. Comments. Sons tribute to one in a million mum of three murdered in Britain's poshest village. Club had security measures in place when three clubbers spiked by injection. 6. Comments. Mum warned about karma after deciding to keep over 1,000 pounds she found in charity shop. 2. Comments. Disabled woman angry at narrow-minded ignorant person who left note on her car. 15. Comments. Peaky Blinders star Tom Hardy says he had everything but f asterisk 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 d it up with drugs. 13. Comments. Real life Peaky Blinders, the Shelbys did exist and weapons were even more gruesome. Trigger points burning questions as most explosive episode yet airs on ITV. 2. Comments. Cleaning Guru shares how often to wash bath mats, and you might not be doing it enough. Former Tottenham striker avoids jail and fined 180 pounds for punching Tesco worker. 1. Comments. Boot staff help rescue petrified woman from violent partner after she uses code word. 9. Comments. Couple use DIY hack to create corner seat for just 100 pounds using wood destined for the tip. 3. Comments. Explorers see dead prisoners faces in chilling haunted prison that saw several murders. 3. Comments. Sons tribute to one in a million mum of three murdered in Britain's poshest village. Club had security measures in place when three clubbers spiked by injection. 6. Comments. Mum warned about karma after deciding to keep over 1,000 pounds she found in charity shop. 2. Comments. Disabled woman angry at narrow-minded ignorant person who left note on her car. 15. Comments. Peaky Blinders star Tom Hardy says he had everything but f asterisk 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 d it up with drugs. 13. Comments. Real life Peaky Blinders, the Shelbys did exist and weapons were even more gruesome. Trigger points burning questions as most explosive episode yet airs on ITV. 2. Comments. Cleaning Guru shares how often to wash bath mats, and you might not be doing it enough. Former Tottenham striker avoids jail and fined 180 pounds for punching Tesco worker. 1. Comments. Boot staff help rescue petrified woman from violent partner after she uses code word. 9. Comments. Couple use DIY hack to create corner seat for just 100 pounds using wood destined for the tip. 3. Comments. 
Explorers see dead prisoners' faces in chilling haunted prison that saw several murders. 3. Comments. Sun's tribute to one in a million mum of three murdered in Britain's poshest village. Club had security measures in place when three clubbers spiked by injection. 6. Comments. Mum warned about karma after deciding to keep over £1,000 she found in charity shop. 2. Comments. Powered by. Zoe, who later married Roy Bowman, pictured, let herself out and returned to London. But a few days later, the flying squad arrived at her Clapham flat, and Prago learned that she had made a serious mistake. When breaking into the Regency flat, she'd torn a finger of her nylon glove. Zoe had left a fingerprint, and Scotland Yard caught Britain's top female burglar red-handed. Read more. Woman, 32, dies after accidental overdose with family paying tribute to beautiful mum. Read more. Pensioner in her 80s killed in crash at church car park moments before start of mass.